It is another beautiful day in Ohio, and I'm at Kick It Roost Stand Backs, and it's back to back time, my favorite time. This is my brand new 2025 CRF450R. This is the best CRF450 they've produced in a long time. Add to 19, 21, 23 works edition. It's better than all of them. Great fork setting. They actually made it stiffer. I would have never thought it works, but it works. Show forks are great. Shocks are great. Just move the clickers a little. I'm 6'2, 190 pounds. It works fantastic for me. Super smooth engine, really smooth. The mapping's amazing on it. You got three maps and three levels of traction control, so you literally have 12 maps with you all the time, but you don't have the app. This is my 24.5 KTM 450 Factory Edition. All stock except for my favorite set of cone valve forks and my good buddy Brad at Rideworks redid the rear shock on it. So we're gonna ride these back to back for a lap uh, at kick and roost here, so. Let's give him a whirl. Now, I've been riding the CRF. I just first time I got on my KTM, but it's always fun to just jump on bikes and feel them back to back, what the differences are like. Now, I've got a dry hard pack, minimum throttle response, minimum engine braking in this bike. And man, after riding the Honda, one of the things I can feel right away is that this has got the new softer chassis and these cone valve forks are plush. <laughs> And I like this bike a lot. It just has a smoothness to it. The power's smooth. One thing that's not smooth is the engine vibration. It's got more than the Honda, for sure. Let's see if we can jump here. But the traction, even on these flat, dry, hard pack corners, that MX-34 up front is good. And I think part of it's this steel chassis too. This bike has some power. And it's a good combination of cornering and stability. Yeah, this is a higher speed section. A little choppy. And this thing feels good. And we got the rollers. Boy, they built these up. I used to be able to pound through them a little better. Yeah, this, these cone valve forks and this chassis just super absorbing and the power is totally tunable with the Seawell. Just carry that front, find traction. Brakes. Yeah, these KTMs, they're easy bikes to like. Let's go jump on the CRF.
I have a lot more time on this bike. Probably about 12, I think, hours to get a look at the counter. Yeah, 13. Okay. Honda. All new. Easily the best CRF 450 they've produced to date in my book. Now, it's dry hard pack today. So I'm running the map to the soft map. But even in the soft map, there's a certain quickness, kind of a bark to this bike compared to the KTM that's dialed back. Yeah, this Honda definitely has a kind of a busier feel up front. And it just goes into these tight corners super easy. And I think this, this engine just a little more sharpness down low, but maybe it's part of the downdraft. But the front of this bike feels smaller. Feels like I'm more over the front wheel. Now this MX-33 front I don't like as much. I don't feel quite as confident on the flat dry. But the engine is super smooth. And honestly, the aluminum chassis notice it as much. It's got a little more feedback. But the forks feel really good. I think the rental handlebars are a little firmer. Wow. These bikes are both really good to see him battling back to back at Bud's Creek and Unadilla. All right, what do we think? Well, this thing still has the standard CRF character, meaning it's a responsive chassis to any inputs, throttle steering brakes. It responds quick. It is by far the most calm front end feeling CRF chassis. I've ridden power, super smooth, right? It revs and builds RPM a little faster than the KTM. But I, I don't have the KTM wicked up. I could put a quicker throttle, cam, airbox cover, but KTM super tunable. This one is too in the different maps. But I'm surprised. I still feel a little more comfort in the steel chassis, although I got work suspension up front, stock shock in the back. But this CRF chassis, it's not, even on the dry hard pack today, it's not beating me up. The grips are a little thicker. These are standard, but they're actually pretty good. I think the rental bars, a little stiffer. That's got, my like KTM has Pro Taper Evo, and they give you a little more give on the bumps. But for stock suspension, basically everything's stock. This bike is really good, the CRF. They've done a great job with it this year. In the steel frame, they made some big changes. They are noticeable, especially if you're picky. It's got more comfort, a little better tire contact patch. These bikes are really both good. I'm going to be doing some more back-to-backs on them, but for now, two thumbs up from Route 62 MX.